moins une minute. And we'll be into the final 60 seconds. Top. Moins une minute. And there we are. Final 60 seconds before liftoff of the Ariane 5 with four Galileo satellites. Give us a chance to say hello to our friends at Bremen, at Astrium Saffron Launchers, to the Galileo teams, to the Kourou, Cinemarie, and Cayenne sites here in French Guiana, to all our industrial partners, to everybody at AISA and CNES and all their offices, and to all of you following on the internet. We hope you all enjoy the broadcast. We're going to cut away and let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final seconds, and we'll be back once Arian has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. Final countdown coming up. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des UAP et décollage. Les parapètes de propulsion sont tous nominaux. Trajectoire et nominale, tous les paramètres orbaux en bord sont en bord. Darting behind the clouds in Ariane 5, beginning her mission. Beautiful shots, lifting off at 10:06 local from the ground, roaring off the ground here, off the ground here in French Guiana, beginning her mission, the ninth for Ariane space this year, carrying the four new satellites in the Galileo constellation. Always impressive shots for the people here at the. At Jupiter and on the uh, beaches and at the observation sites, leaving her trail of smoke and fire. The two boosters providing 90% percent of the thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 760 tons was the mass at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. Yes, that's every second. 2.5 tons burning in each booster per second. Plus the core stage, first stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Ariane 5 now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. We are in the first of four flight phases, and we'll describe each in turn and in detail Tous so we can follow Ariane as she heads northeast across the Atlantic. Meanwhile, the DDO is saying all well on board. Right now, the first flight phase, the single Vulcan core stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters are going to burn for another maybe 10 seconds, not even, and then you'll see them flame out. And Separation des UAP. And there they are, and the DDO has confirmed that. That's what it looks like up there. There's a second booster on the left out of camera range. The boosters fall 500 kilometers from shore in a protected area. You can see the shot there. The two boosters, if you can hold his camera steady. <laughs> well, we had two, boosters, two boosters on either side, and the main point of light was the core stage burning. Before the boosters are empty, their push diminishes and the onboard computer senses the drop in acceleration and decides to separate them. On the bottom of your screen, our altitude on the left and our speed on the right, altitude approaching 100 kilometers and our speed two and a half kilometers per second. Remember, we need to be between eight and nine kilometers per second to separate the satellites. We're coming up on separation of the fairing. That's in about uh, 20 seconds from now. You can see in the animation the logo on the fairing that's placed there by the customer. Something of a tradition goes way back in the space business. A lot of people collect stickers and decals. The inside of the fairing lined with acoustic panels that protect the satellites from the noise, and there is a lot of noise of the engines at lift. Separation de la coiffe. There's the separation of the fairing.
and the DDO has called out right on time. You see there's one half on the left, the other half is uh, falling, out of ca falling out of camera range on the right this time. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. We're over 100 kilometers up, as you can see on the bottom left of your screen. Neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passenger, so we can get rid of the dead weight. We are into the second powered flight phase. The boosters have done their job. Only the single lower stage engine burning now. It'll burn Nominal, nine minutes roughly. Our speed is important. That's the role of the main stage. Its cryogelant propellant is, is not only highly, provides a push that can last for a long time. There are different propulsion systems you have noticed on the Ariane 5. Cryogenics, as used in the main stage, are more efficient than solid propellant, which is used in the boosters. Basically, and I'm no engineer, but, but I do know that solids are for getting us and away from the pull of the Earth, while cryogenics are more for precision orienting of a vehicle, and we'll see that later on with the upper stage. And of course, they allow the upper stage to be ignited in this version of the Ariane 5. Ariane 5, remember, Ariane 5, remember, is the heavy lift launcher, the two other members of the family, Soyuz, lifting middle-sized payloads, two and three tons, and Vega, the light lift vehicle for missions of one ton and under. Shot of the downrange tracking station. Acquisition de la télémesure lanceur par la Alexis station Laquerre. naval Ariane. Galio, Galio in yellow is the station here, the tracking station in uh, French uh, Guiana, and you see the point of light where Ariane is right now. We're going to the first of what we hope will be several replay shots of liftoff that happened six minutes ago. You can relive those tense moments as Ariane 5 took off from the pad. We have cameras at several of the half dozen observation sites that are stationed across the base, and they furnish the us calm, with shots from different angles. And here's another one from a little further back. We should have more, even more footage later on. The closest observation site is called Toucan. Some of you may have uh, been out there. Many of the VIPs are there tonight, including Patricia Secchi of ISA, who is going to be joining us here in the booth during the second part of the broadcast. We have been picked up by our downrange tracking station, the ship SNA, the Station Navale Atlantique. That's uh, a ship designed specifically for Ariane missions. We have ground stations, but we also have this uh, boat which can move around to follow the launchers, picking up its radar and uh, telemetry. All of Ariane's trajectory, of course, being designed to be followed from the ground. The launcher is sending radar and telemetry constantly back down and a network of these stations are keeping a constant watch on the health of our systems. Telemetry, you may be asking, what is it? We hear this word a lot. Well, telemetry is launch vehicle data, simply. Information on thousands, I would say 1,500 parameters, is being collected and transmitted to the ground stations every second by the two transmitters on board and the antennas outside. These include indicators of Ariane's health, and uh, performance in flight. La trajectoire est nominale, tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Everything is perfect on board, says the DDO. On the left is the flame of the core stage engine still burning, and the long gray tube, that's the upper, lower stage, sorry. Above that, a white band is the upper stage, and you see the four satellites exposed to the elements now with their blue solar panels. They're exposed to the elements with the separation of the fairing. The telemetry which comes in is analyzed in real time. Customers get immediate information about their spacecraft, very important for them. Other data are analyzed after Il reste moins de the 30 flight de de le PC. to learn how the vehicle has performed. About 30 seconds left in the first stage burn and you'll hear the DDO and you'll see on the screen the DDO will call out extinction, and you'll see the blue flame in our animation go out, and then the 
lower stage will be separated, and then watch out for the ignition of the upper stage. All that coming up. There's the Extinction of the PC sur commande de guidage. Confirmation of the DDO. 